Good morning. We've slept, and it's September now. And um, I did some more mowing after I left you yesterday, and what I discovered was uh, the big trees are really in the way. And in order to mow and pick up the grass efficiently, which we really need to do, uh, we're going to need to get some of those trees out of the way. So our plans have changed slightly. We are going to leave this loading wagon right over here. Oh yeah, I gotta fold it up first. Uh, I picked up one uh, one more load of grass and sold it. I just did that. So we're gonna come over here and we are going to purchase some equipment that we need to use for logging. Uh, we should have just about enough to cover it. First thing we're gonna need, of course, is a chainsaw. All right, we've got that. And the next thing we need is a trailer to carry logs. I could do this on a flatbed, but I'm terrible at logging. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a logging trailer. It just makes it easier to, to put the logs on it if they don't roll off the side. And I do have some inexpensive options here. Um, several actually i could go for the self-made forest trailer but as you see 492 kilograms it's, it's not very heavy and i don't think it's going to do very well with the big boy trees that we have um this one's not bad but for 2000 more we can get this one uh it's heavy it's uh it's got the the grate on the front so uh it yeah, I don't shove logs into my tractor. Um, so we're going to go for this. Uh, and that will leave us with... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I had it on delivery. And I shouldn't have done that. So we're now $18 in the hole. Oh, well. We're going to make some money off of trees, and um, we have to make some money off of trees because we need to improve our grass work equipment. That mower is losing its charm very quickly. And don't get me wrong, it's a great mower at an excellent price, but it has its limitations. Oops, sorry. All right, I'll meet you back over at the yard. We have our logging trailer. Uh, we have our chainsaw, and we have our trees. You can see I mowed some more out here. Um, and that's kind of where I want to put, or kind of where I want to extend this field over here to. Um, we're currently sitting in the field and I would like to extend it all the way out there. Um, but we got to get these trees out of it and we got to get the grass picked up that I mowed yesterday. So uh, I am going to use super strength for logging. There's just no way to do this in a timely manner uh, with a front end loader or a any sort of loader at all because I'm terrible with them. So um, I'm just going to use super strength. I'll I'll show a couple of these, but for the most part, uh, I'm going to log off camera just to get it done quickly and efficiently. You can see how bad I am at this. But I guess I'm going to need to improve my skills if I want to get by on Silver Run Forest, right? All right, first one.
don't understand those little chips. I don't understand if that's on purpose or if that's just a glitch of the game. And I'm terrible at this. And I never know if it's actually working or not. I think it is. I don't know how people do how people walk straight up the trunk of these trees and don't fall off the side. I am terrible at this. And it's probably that I'm using an Xbox controller. That probably has a lot to do with it. See? See how bad I am at this? So if anybody has any suggestions on how I can get better at this... Well, that wasn't bad. All right. It's probably that I just need to do it and practice. But it's just not something that I care for. <laughs> All right. So, I think what I'm going to do, if this is going to bother you, don't look. Just gonna kind of judge the length of the trailer and get these as long as I can. These are very large trees. <laughs> I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to actually get on this trailer. I guess that just wants to live in there like that. I went ahead and bought the more expensive trailer. It's going to be heavier, so it's going to be more stable when we load it down with logs. And if you know, if you look around, there's a whole lot of trees that we're going to have to we're going to have to deal with. Um, the only ones we're going to deal with are these nice straight pines. I think they're pines or spruces uh, that can be used for lumber. Out on the fringes, we have other types of trees and I don't know if you've ever dealt with any of those types of trees before in a in a logging capacity but they suck they are a nightmare to deal with so we will not be touching those trees not with a chainsaw anyway uh, if we do need to get rid of some of those we'll be using some sort of mulcher chipper and just doing away with them completely well maybe i should cut that off just to make it look tidier oh <laughs> all right i think we can probably get one more tree on there
and there we have it a nicely loaded trailer of wood uh, we're going to take this and sell it and see what we get that was two trees so hopefully we will get a handsome sum for these two trees and be able to continue to get those handsome sums as we clear this out for for fields Well, the locals tell me that they have been complaining for years about the the distance to the sawmill from here and the fact that there's no sort of transfer station where they can drop their lumber here and and then it gets over to the sawmill um, but just recently uh, their complaints have been heard and the sawmill has put in a sawmill extension over here by the by the vehicle shop and that's really good for us because I drove that road yesterday and it is very long and very bumpy and I'm not sure how we do with a full load of logs so uh, I, I the locals tell me that there have been numerous accidents over the years with people trying to take logs from here to the sawmill so uh, this is a very welcome addition I'm going to pull our logs in here, and I have not tried this before, so we'll see if it works. Oh, I may need to unstrap those. All right. Let's sell some logs. 6435 dollars. All right. Not quite as much as I had hoped. But I think we're going to do well here. So my goal is to continue to cut down some trees and bring them over here and sell them. And when I have cleared out the trees in the area that I mowed yesterday, then I'll bring you guys back and we'll talk about uh, perhaps improving our grass work equipment. Because we're trying to make as much, I would like to make as much silage as I possibly can before January. Because that's when the price of silage is really good and we can rake in a lot of bucks. But we've got to turn as much of this grass out here as possible into silage by January. So, in order to do that, we're going to need at least a new mower. Because that little mower takes forever. All right. So I'm going to continue to, to look like a fool cutting trees. Um, and I'll talk to you guys soon. cleared the trees out of that area that I wanted to clear uh, we're gonna put a field there since I pick up all the grass um, you can see by our money total that we're now at forty eight thousand seven hundred and eighty four so we did very well with 
just those few trees that I cut down. I think I did four loads, maybe five loads. I was averaging about $6,500 a load, and that, I put two trees in each load. So uh, if you noticed on the drive back and the drive out, there are plenty more where that came from of the nice big tall ones in fact if we look right over here to my left there's a good deal of money right there and i'm thinking this area that we're looking at right there is going to become uh an expanded part of the yard and also that's where we're going to put any animals that we may get so that seems like a good place for animals and maybe a greenhouse or two not to get carried away with greenhouses um also you know my first impulse when i saw how much we were getting from the trees is to uh put in a sawmill <laughs> and uh, start making planks um but i really don't want this to become about logging uh i think we're all going to log a lot in november so uh, for right now i think i want to turn this into a farm I want to have what was sold to me is a working farm and either have a farm that can sustain me for the rest of my life or something that I can turn a profit on uh, after I pay all the taxes. And now I'm not too worried about paying the taxes. I think if we can make 48 grand in one day off of trees, we should easily be able to pay $120,000 in back taxes. So uh, the first thing I want to consider is some new mowing equipment because that thing has got to go. So uh, I will meet you over at the store and let's buy some new toys. All right, let's get this sold. Twenty-three thirty-nine sold. Forty-five thirty-four sold. All right. So let's look and see what's available. Nothing in the sale, too bad. All right, let's look at mowers first. It's 2.4, that's not wide enough. That's four meters, but I really don't care for that style of mower. I know some people love it. That's 4.4 meters, that's pretty good. Now the Nova Cats will do a swath, which would make it easier to row up. Well, that's attractive because it's 6.2 meters, but we would have to row it. We're going to have to wind row it anyway, I think. So that's a contender. We'll have one of these before too long. The The mower that it fits on is about 55000 So once we're ready to step up, we're going to go with that. That's a nice swather, and we can sell our wind rower and our mower. Okay, now these guys are attractive. 3.5 meters. For $8,500. So is the extra half a... This down to forty. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with this one. Covers a lot of area. We're making silage. We're gonna go straight to silage now. We're gonna skip hay completely. Um, so yeah, we're gonna buy that. 
All of that's good. Make sure no, no mulcher. We want the grass. So, all right. We bought that. Now, we need a baler. I guess we need a windrow. And we're going to go... At this stage, this is hard to beat. 1300 bucks, 6.5 meters. It's just you can't beat this deal. So we're going to go with that. And now we need a baler. There are some cheap ones here. Yeah, these John Deere square balers at 12 grand. That's a good deal. But we can't wrap those right now. There's nothing cheap enough for us to wrap those. So we've got these at 5,000. That's 150 centimeter bales. I'm not sure that our wrapper will do that. Let's look. No, there. We're going to go for the, yes, they will wrap 150 centimeter bales. So we're going to, we're going to buy this wrapper. Things good. And we're going to buy. this baler it's like an old Soviet era baler we'll see we may hate it but I bet it'll make bales <laughs> we'll find out alright and the last thing we need is a trailer to be able to transport our bales. Hopefully there is something here we can afford. No, we can't afford any base game stuff that's big enough to be effective. There's that. There's those. Where did I see those other ones? And low loaders? There are some bale trailers. Miscellaneous, maybe? There's one. Animals? All right, well, we're not going to worry too much about a bale trailer until we have some actual bales. So, uh, let's look at our haul. We have a baler. We have a bale wrapper. We have a windrower. And we have a mower. Look at that. We are moving up in the world. It is only September. And we still have a little money left. So... Let's go and and if we if we need money for a trailer, we can always cut down a couple of trees and we'll be right where we need to be. So uh I think we're going to end the episode there. We've gotten a lot done today. Um 
I will continue on. Uh, we will we will finish this day in the next episode. Uh, I realize that I only have the time set to 0. 0.5. So uh, in the next episode, I'm going to raise that up to 15. And I think that should uh, offset the time that we've gained uh, by having it at 0. 0.5 this morning. So uh, in the next episode, we're going to be doing some more mowing. Uh, and making some bales and uh, making this place a farm. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. I would also appreciate a thumbs up or a subscribe or a comment. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.